going through lockdowns, we've been going through a lot of lies. But they're not going to stop the Trump refugee. This is what it takes. We have the whole country united. Hey, welcome to Music and News. It's your boy BG. And today we are bringing you a special report focusing on the Truckers Freedom Convoy that has now arrived in the Greater Toronto Area. This convoy, as you can see, has drawn thousands of people to this protest. Right now we are in Vaughan, Ontario, and it originated, as you know, in British Columbia. This convoy has been trekking its way all across the country, passing through all different provinces, garnering more support as it has done so, as it makes its way to the nation's capital of Ottawa, this upcoming weekend for a massive demonstration on Parliament Hill. Today we are going to hear about what protesters are actually protesting. We know that this convoy is in opposition of mandatory vaccination mandates and lockdown mandates, but we want to hear from people firsthand about the experiences they've been feeling throughout this pandemic. So let's go find out. I brought, came out here for freedom. Yeah. Yes, for my all my Canadian brothers and sisters, and uh, get Trudeau out of the office. He he does not support Canadians or our values. Why are you a part of this convoy today? We're fighting for freedom. Fighting for freedom. Cancel on the mandate mandates because uh, I don't think they're gonna work. For uh, the freedom. My children need to be social. They need to interact. You know, there's people that are, yes, suffering from the virus, but that's not everybody, you know, and it's for freedom to choose. You want to wear a mask, you have the choice to wear one. You want to get inoculated, have the choice to do that. The way it's always been. I just want people to have the opportunity to choose what's right for them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that means a lot for you? It means a lot to me. Why is that? Because that's the foundation of our country, right? Can I see your sign here? Oh, yeah. What does your sign say? It says, saves the youth. It says, save our youth. Yes. Why, why, why this sign in particular? Why this sign? Because my son, like I said, he's in grade three, yeah. and he has to go, and you should see how much restrictions they have. He has to play. He can't play with his friends at recess. He has to play with the only uh, the kids in his own class at recess, not how like it used to be, and it's just wrong. I see, I see it in his face, the disappointment he has in his face. So you're worried about his mental health? His mental health. I'm nothing to do with his physical health. Nothing at all. Do you mind me asking, are you vaccinated? No. And I will not be. You will not be? I will not be. Has this affected your work right now? Right now it is. How so? Because I cannot go to United States. I cannot go across the border. So that's me neither. I have to find something else. Or I gonna sell everything and I'm gonna say bye bye Canada. How big? How big? How important is the United States for your business? Uh, 99 percent. But the CDC and the FDA have both confirmed it, along with the creator of the mRNA, Dr. Robert Malone. He also said that the vaccines will not stop COVID. So I, I, I guess I can understand your point on it not stopping the spread. What I'm trying to understand is, do you, do, you, do you believe that it reduces? No, the, it doesn't do, it doesn't, okay. it doesn't stop prevention and it doesn't stop transmission. So what has this been like for you, like these last two years? It's been terrible. Just seeing what's going on um, in the media, the polarization, um, the politicization of science, it's wrong. What about yeah. the science? Do you um, feel has been just, politicized? It's just the way that scientific findings have been weaponized and politicized, misinterpreted, um, you know, doctors being discredited, um, you know, people who actually have uh, credentials to be speaking about the matter being silenced and removed from YouTube, the censorship, um, it's wrong. Do you believe COVID is real? I believe it's a new flu. Now it's a new flu. I had COVID a couple weeks ago. My child coughed for me and had a mild fever for half a day. It wasn't serious for him. And it was, I'm vaccinated, I am double vaccinated, but uh, that's fine. If you want to take the vaccine, go ahead. So you are vaccinated? Yeah, of course, but it shouldn't be mandated okay. to do day-to-day -day activities, not at all. Do you believe COVID is real? Of course it's real, 100%, just like the flu, just like influenza, just like pneumonia, but it's never going anywhere. COVID is around for life. What's gonna happen in a year from now? 
it lets you say it's like a vaccinated. All of a sudden, it's going to disappear? No! I would love to know from you, based off of the science, what is it that you believe is the truth? It's not about what I believe. Okay. I want people to be able to talk to each other about it, okay. if that makes sense. So it doesn't matter necessarily, regardless of what the truth is, it's about having people come together to talk about it and not just um, only allowing one side to speak. You agree that there was still an intent to protect people? I agree people? that there was an intent to protect people, but there's a gross amount of incompetency. And this is because and we're seeing so many different rules all over the place? Yes. So the rules that constantly go back and forth with no rhyme or reason, um, as scientific findings come out, they don't adjust the rules to go with the, the scientific findings that come mm. out. They have to be more um, uh, transparent with their facts. This is a huge glimpse of hope. You know, the truckers are our artery for uh, our supply chain. You know, they are what what gives us our food, our clothing, all of this sort of stuff. And if this comes to a stop, it affects everybody. So I'm hoping this is the end game. I hope that our government can see the size and the rationale of the protest that's happening today. And I hope that they can amend some of the rules that they've made to be more fair. Um, and, and what's one of those rules you want to see amended? It's, um, well, the mandates, quite frankly, okay. right? I think that people need to have the right to choose, right? And we need to be more willing to make accommodations for people who want to choose something different. Where are you from, by the way? I'm from Ontario, born and raised Where in here. Ontario? Richmond Hill. Okay, so you came but from I Richmond Hill. But I would have come from Timbuktu to be here today. You would have came from Timbuktu to be yes, here today? Yes, I would, I, would I would have walked on glass to be here today. Hey BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel and listen to this, we have more great content for you like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.